Today we're going to reorganize my built-in bookshelves, but not these ones, but I figured I'd show my, my VHS collection um, that I plan on like filling most of this with VHSs. These were in, on my other bookshelf in my living room, which this is kind of a second living room, but nobody hangs out in here. So yeah, stay tuned and you'll get to see it. All right, so for when rearranging my bookshelves, I knew I did not want to take every book down. So I kind of wanted to work shelf by shelf. I knew that I wanted to change the look from having the books pushed all the way back to the wall and just bring them to the front to make it appear as if these shelves are so full. Um, but first I had to go to the Closet of Doom to find the dust jackets for all my hardcover books. Um, I had taken them off a long time ago and just put them in a bag and an Aldi bag. Uh, this is a bunch of my dust jackets. And then also another thing I wanted to change about this area is my uh, speaker, my external speaker was just sitting on top of these books. And I have this attachment on my uh, TV mount that I could just put the speaker on it, but I never did. So I finally decided to just do that right and free up these books from just being a speaker holder. <laughs> And I actually like the way it turned out, but I still wanted to stack some books under it. Okay, now I needed to really take inventory of all of my hardcover books and see what dust jackets I still had. Because some of these books I've had for years, like I would just buy them from the dollar store for decoration. And then I also had a little thrift store up where we used to live and they had fill up a box of books for $5. So I think at one point I filled up my box. I was playing Tetris with them books and I fit like 60 books into a box. Uh, and yeah, so that's where I got a lot of these uh, books. Some of them are just like to have like a, a Judy Garland biography that I don't know if I'll read. Um, Dante's Inferno, some Nicholas Sparks books. Uh, some of the dust jackets are really in really bad shape. They're so old. Um, so yeah, they're just going to go back in the bag because the book looks better without them. Uh, but this copy of Dumpty by John Lithgow, some of his poetry and animation or illustrations, um, I got that. It's signed and it's my treasure. Uh, I also have some of these little classics and they look so much prettier without the dust jackets on them. So I'm going to keep those in a bag. Oh, and then here's some pictures uh, that my grandma sent me of me as a kid. It's so cute. I'm just going to keep those right in there with some birthday cards and whatnot. And then this is a Nicholas Sparks book that has a little note written in it. It's so cute. Um, I am a la la. Last seen alive. This was a library book from 2002. Um, I love whenever books are like from older. Not That's not that old long ago, but whatever. Um, that's Malibu Rising. And this is a stunning hardcover of Brendan Sanderson's Oathbringer. I got it at a thrift store for $2.00. And uh, actually, whenever I picked it up, I went through it and I found the original receipt and someone had bought it the previous year in Boulder, Colorado. Um, and I bought it in Iowa, so I wonder how it ended up there. It's so cool. I like to keep that with it. But yeah, let's get back to the actual... Oh wait, nope, nope. Way of Kings. I also have this. I have not read it yet or even made a dent in it. Those are all the library plastic coverings. Oh yeah, this is my treasure of my VHS collection. This is a Mary-Kate Nashley mystery VHS that I got for a dollar. And it has a coupon in it. To And it also has the application to be a part of the Mary-Kate Nashley fan club. And you save a dollar when you buy one of their movies. But it expired in 1997. I just treasure it because I remember watching these a lot growing up. So 
I worked up a sweat rearranging my bookshelf. And there's bubble wrap and boxes behind me. For no reason! Um, but yeah, uh, there's still Christmas decorations up. I am having trouble. But you know what? We're gonna forget about that because instead of putting away Christmas decorations, I took down all my books and moved them around. Why not? Why not? Also, this lighting is horrible. Oh, that's a little bit better. I look pale as a ghost though. Boom. All right, so it's pretty dark because I got started really early the next morning and I tried to make the lighting as best I could, uh, but the sun will come out soon. Tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, uh, this is whenever I really started getting a move on. <laughs> well, actually doing some work on this bookshelf. Uh, for the top shelves, I kind of just wanted like my Nancy Drew books, uh, books that I have read or like YA books that I read in my childhood, uh, some of my nonfiction, my Lucy biography, um, a lot of the things that I'm not going to reach for too often because it is really hard to get, get a climb up on this cabinet and get to the shelf. So I knew that I would just kind of put any like mass market paperbacks that I don't tend to go for um but yeah I had to line them all up This shelf is mostly like my old books, any sort of like Barnes and Noble classics. Um, I have Edgar Allan Poe, Charles Dickens Christmas stories. Um, anything old goes here. I also have this really cool um, uh, astrology book that my mother-in-law gave me when I first started dating my husband. So it is super old. It goes through every day of the year. And um, yeah, oh, taking a break. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, I really love that book, so that's one that's always part of my collection. And then I kind of rearranged this top shelf because, as you can tell, there's a lot of chaos in my book sizing. They're all different sizes, so it's really hard to get them cohesive looking. Oh, my, I love Lucy doll. I love her. Gosh, I have so much, so many knickknacks. And yeah, so this shelf was kind of like YA stuff or stuff that I'm not gonna uh, get to anytime soon or that I've already read. Um, but just because it's kind of, like I said, those higher shelves are harder to get to, but the two on the ends, I am taking a break watching Good Omens, not Golden Girls this time. I've watched the first couple of episodes. Well, I guess I'm back to Golden Girls. This is so chaotic. What am I doing? All right. Yeah, hey pup. What are you doing, puppy? Um, the, re the rest of these shelves, there's a lot of books that I just tend to collect. Older versions, like original printings of the Christopher Pike books, or um, the Vampire Diaries books, even though I never plan on reading them. I really like the old uh, 1980s and 1990s versions of these covers. Um, I have a couple of R.L. Stein's Fear Street books that I love to collect. Um, if I were going to read these, I'd probably do it in audiobook or ebook format just because these books are really old and some of them, like the covers are falling off. So I'll just kind of arrange them on the side. This is such a dark shot. What are you doing? <laughs> okay, yeah, there we go. I'm so confused as to what I'm doing. I have not even started on the other little shelf over here that I'm about to show you, but this was a lot of library books, all of my daughter's 
books, Heartstopper, Charlotte's Web, and all that. Um, so I just kind of kept it the same, but added uh, like my Twilight books, just random. There's no cohesive reasoning for where these books are on the shelf. Okay, so I think that that is all I'm gonna do for right now. Um, I'm really liking the way it looks. I just want it to look like really overstuffed. Like these books have been here forever or whatever. I don't know, I can't think coherently. But this is all of my newer books that I plan to get to with my little creepy doll friend over here hanging out. That's the progress so far. Um, I'm not gonna get to this bottom part because I don't exactly know what I wanna do with it. For this shelf, usually my library books go here because I usually set stuff down when I first come in. And so that made sense, but I'm not really gonna get a lot of physical library books since I have so many physical books that I wanna read. Then down here below the TV, so I just kind of put some of my favorites here because like I have the cord cover thing, but this is all like pretty DIY and stuff like that. So I just wanted to hide it, but then also I don't want to play favorites too much, too much with my stuff. Maybe I'll scoot that over and I'll be in the middle. I don't know. And then my little buddy can go right there. Let's get back to watching some Golden Girl. I have all of my daughter's books here because I couldn't really fit them on the shelf. And they need to um, go in her room anyways. And then I also have a DIY project that I want to do in her room because she has lots of squishmallows that she has collected. So I want to build a shelf for that. And now this is what it looks like. This bottom shelf still has, uh, needs to be re rearranged or done something with. And we're not gonna look down there because I refuse to believe it exists. Um, but yeah, this is my favorite shelf that I'm most proud of with my little spooky doll and a lot of my new books that I've been wanting to read so this is mostly my physical tbr a couple of them i have read but yeah so i hope you all enjoyed watching me rearrange my bookshelf i will probably do it again because i just do things like that i randomly decide to rearrange my bookshelf even though it's a pain <laughs> i don't know um there's gonna be a vlog on Saturday. Oh, Sargo, gotta go. It's time to pick up the offspring. <laughs>